Elio guys and welcome back so these notes were released like a couple days ago but I figured why not just take a look at them and see what we have going on with the patch that should be coming any day now I mean there's no word on it yet we're still waiting but let's go ahead and check it out it is quite chunky so I do apologize if the video is long I don't want to make it too long though because we know people got stuff to do but let's go ahead and check it out so this is coming from the L Chronicle development team hey how, how you guys doing um, all they're saying all screenshots are under development um, updates can be changed depending on the situation and updates will be made as soon as possible after it's reviewed from each store Mubu is being added in which is phenomenal uh, definitely be doing a review on him so stay tuned for that so I'm not gonna really focus on him Markon is having a side story added which is great because I mean we need some more mark mark on action and also grace and uh, bake Bach whatever you want to call him they're both getting some pretty aesthetic suits um definitely love the way they look especially grace man grace is looking super thick the straight dummy thick and then Bach looks like a you know like an ice lord and then t6 which is tier 6 equipment is being added into the game so tier 5 is not the only maximum tier for us anymore tier 5 is actually going to be normal now and it looks like tier 7 will actually be the new top tier for gear which should be interesting um we're talking about it on discord the other night we're thinking that uh tier 6 is only available through the gacha pools which again kind of sucks but it is it is what it is especially since they'll be close to the most powerful gear in the game at the moment so definitely save your crystals for that tier 4 talismans are being added I was wondering what happened to that but it's nice that we get them and we can get them from infernal 2 level difficulty of world boss or higher the higher the difficulty the higher level of the talisman makes sense and then defensive tier 4 talismans will be presented at a later date so there won't just be attack based ones there's also defense based ones coming soon after this update again not too bad and it says they only have fixed stats at the time of acquisition and they cannot be upgraded or tier up. So I'm assuming we earn that talisman and there's nothing that we can do to it like the tier 3. We can level those up but I'm assuming tier 4 you get, you get it for right now and that's it. So it is what it is. And then a comment from the development team. They're talking about improving the equipment rune option acquisition structure to create a more advantageous option for hero for the hero who wants to equip it so they're basically saying that they're taking all of the how would I say this categories all of the substats for weapons and gear that's what it seems like and they're making it actually go with that character or with that class I'm assuming if that makes any sense so if they know it's going to be a defensive tanker like Reinhardt or maybe not even Dean but let's say Reinhardt or Markon then the gear for them should represent what their class is which is phenomenal I mean why does my Markon need attack when she just needs defense because she is more of a tra traditional tank you know what I mean so I I'm, I'm down for that I mean I think in theory this should increase everyone's DPS at least by roughly 5 to maybe 10% total. So hopefully it will be a little bit better to um, clear things out with since you get substats that are actually worth it. I mean, I can't complain with that at all. And then ancient runes are created for the hero's combat type. So again, no more crazy mermaid rune on your tank no more of the rock ancient runes on your support type hero you know just crazy stuff like that so whatever's meant to be for that character is going to is going to be for them and that's it there's no crazy stuff like that and it also looks like the uh, equipment name change so the super duper long names for exclusive weapons is, is weapons will also be simplified which is great because I don't want like everything all across my screen all, all across my screen and I can't read none of it because the name is like super duper hyper omega I don't know Dean weapon exclusive rock giant sword you know what I mean just rock giant sword fine uh, and here's the lovely lovely bits that everyone wants to see so the cost will be reduced for five star grade and six star grade heroes 
phenomenal. I, I do wish they would lower the awakening though, but hey, we're getting there. So hero pieces are being decreased from 14 to 10. And then the gold upgrade is going from 24 a pop to 16k a pop. I mean, yeah, 16k a pop. And then hero pieces are being nerfed by like 10, 10 pieces for six star, which is crazy. And then also six star is being half. So every time that you try to upgrade your character and you have all 12 pieces, I believe, then it's only going to cost you 20 gold versus having to have 22 pieces and then 40k, which again, hey man, that's phenomenal. That's beautiful. Um, tier three, tier four, and tier five equipment and runes are also getting reduced. Tier three doesn't ra matter. I mean, tier four and tier five, 50% reduction in gold is huge that is huge so instead of it costing us three mil to max out a weapon it's only going to cost us 1.5 mil again very very expensive but this is a lot more doable so the amount of time it's taken us to build our characters up at this point we can pretty much half that with the 50 percent reduction in gold phenomenal dude Th this is what we need this is what we need and then equipment transcendence. So every time we pull a dupe, we can actually take that dupe and make it do what it needs to do. Instead of saying, oh, I got an exclusive weapon for Dean again. Let me break it down. It's like, I have an exclusive weapon for Dean. Let me go ahead and throw this back into his weapon and have it increase his stats. Because look right here, there's three tiers for it. And it just increases his stats, not like game breaking wise, but you know, just a little here and there. I mean... 308 physical defense is like what maybe two three percent of Dean's physical defense when it's all said and done so it's nothing game breaking but it gives a little bit more importance to the dupes it doesn't make them feel as useless and they are also adding in the furious hydra armor which is like the best armor for magic dps rampaging reaper we already have holy light and i believe we already have abyssal but it looks like they're changing Abyssal to Abyssal Mahagora instead of something else because I think they said it was coinciding with another piece of gear. So it was kind of confusing. But uh, definitely get the Furious Hydra when you can. You you can't go wrong with it. I don't have it personally. I've seen other people with it and I'm just like, oof. Oof. Like they're doing all kinds of work. Holy Light, you know, throw that on your tanks, man. Throw that on your tanks and have at it. And Rampage and Reaper... We can also throw that on um, our physical physical types, especially your assassin. So again, phenomenal. I mean, we can upgrade it to tier 5. It's not tier 6, but we have something at least. And this should be very, very helpful. Then tier 4 ancient rune crafting added. I was wondering why we didn't have any tier 4 crafting. But hey, lovely. Lovely. And then the probability of success of potential modification increases overall. Increasing the number of durability recoveries from 10 to 30. Treasures, ancient ruins, and talismans can be modified to potential level 60. You can modify the potential up to maximum SS100 with an, with an identical equipment as material. So modification up to the maximum potential of SS100 is only possible for equipment at least 3 levels of transcend. So I'm assuming if you have a... D rank exclusive weapon and you've made three other ones and you still haven't gotten your godly A or double S rank uh, piece of gear that if you take all three of those dupes feed it into that great D weapon congratulations we can now take that potential and get it to SS I mean is it going to cost money of course it's going to cost some raid coins for that little crystal material and it's going to cost some crystals but you can do it so instead of trying to pray to orange jesus for some sick nasty roll on your exclusive weapon we have the power to make that that's that's phenomenal i mean that's great so we can kind of nitpick and tweak our main guys as long as we make a couple more exclusive weapons for them i mean hey holla as long as they don't nerf being able to make exclusive weapons or make them super duper like costly hey i'm okay with this and just a mileage system being added. You can hire top ranked heroes as elite mercenaries at the dungeon raid and world boss battle. So I guess this makes it a little bit easier for us to get the cream of the crop for world boss and raids. Instead of having to refresh it over and over and over again. Phenomenal. That's going to save quite a bit of time. 
and mercenary ranking. I don't really pay much attention to that, but I mean that's for all the OP OP people. Team info history. Again, I mean, if you're using this to compare it to your friend and see where your friend is at, I can understand that. But other than that, I mean, it's nice to have, but nothing too crazy. The World Boss Season 4, Agaris, begins. So, I, I'm, I'm assuming the World Boss is being switched out every couple of updates or something to keep it fresh. Not too bad. The following changes will apply from World Boss Season 4, Agaris. Reduces the effectiveness effectiveness of buff boxes at a level at all levels a phase that cannot attack the boss during combat is added so world boss is going to take a little bit longer the recommended attack power of the hell and infernos changes so that could either be easier or probably harder who knows the infernal level one to seven difficulty increases and then the monsters appearing in difficulty four or higher increases so they're adding in more mobs once you go past level four and the non-attackable phase started when the HP of the boss is below a certain level and is released if all additional summon monsters are killed. So just like plenty of MMOs and stuff out there, once your boss gets to a certain HP, like 10% of HP, he's going to go away. He's going to drop out adds. Your party has to kill the adds probably within a time limit and he'll come back out and you can kill him. So, I mean, traditional. We can also see the top four rankers in World Boss being displayed in the lobby right before we do we do world boss so we can see all them dudes flexing single play mode has been added as well and you can switch to a single battle environment so you can play the game smoothly so instead of playing with people all the time which is kind of what i thought the game was going for you can choose to do single player mode instead and i'm assuming just pick your mercs and not have to worry about anyone trying to join your squad if you don't want them to join which i mean for players that don't have many unfortunately under server or many that aren't many for players that don't, they don't have a lot of people that are on to play with them this might be the better choice for you or to players that have a lot of people on that want to play with them but they have poor ping again this will be a better choice for you because who wants to play with a laggy a laggy piece of you know what when you're trying to do world boss and you're just lagging out and dying no one wants to do that no one wants to do that and improvement on normal raid. In regular raid, rewards, cooking, alchemy, and crafting materials are removed and raid coins are added. So we can't get... Wait, the experience you get in a raid battle increases from 3 to 6 per ticket. So we can hit... We can hit the max, which is level 30 at the moment for raid, um, a lot quicker than before. So if you're maxed out already like me, don't worry about it. But if you're not maxed, worry about it. And then everything's just going to be turned to raid coins, I'm assuming. And, and it says we can purchase cooking and materials using raid coins at the raid shop. Again, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. They're simplifying things. Hey, if you want to get this, do your raids. Go over here. Use your coins. Congratulations. Everything is here. One-stop shop. We're good to go. Beautiful. And Coliseum changes. If the LP points are the same, the user with a higher number of victories will have a higher ranking. Okay. And the opponent list has changed from six to four players, so they want you to refresh more. The number of free daily opponent changes will change from 15 to 23, so they did add in a little bit more refreshes. The number of paid daily opponents changed from five to seven, and crystal usage reduced to 20. So to the hardcore PVPers, this is probably for you, which is not for me. Infinite Force Fortress changes. The higher level, the more powerful the buff effect box will drop. The buff effect acquired from the box is changed to remain until the end of the battle, so that doesn't go away. At each level, you can receive an HP potion with a certain probability. So we can peel our squad in between those. The number of cannons is increased and the location of cannons is randomly assigned. And their HP is decreased. Instead of best rank, previous days ranking will display... And then also balancing changes where boss monsters will appear. So they're making it even more hectic. And they're getting rid of normal monsters and just having the boss there, which again isn't too snazzy. And the champion medal will be awarded as additional reward to top ranking users of the infinite fortress. And we can use that for the champion shop. Again, I'm assuming you have to be pretty up there or maybe everyone gets it. But obviously who's 
obviously the top dog gets a lot more of the coins than everyone else hence why they want you to do it to keep everything uh you know competitively and then you can also pull tier four to tier six equipment rooms and material items from champion equipment summoning so this is just essentially just another gotcha pool here so this could potentially be good if you're higher up there if not it might just do nothing and the tier six weapons and set armor have been added to summoning more useful item materials such as hero pieces essence upgrade stones and awakening crest are added and with the gotcha pools so because pulling tier three equipment is just gag me when it gag me with a machete they're like we added useful material along with tier three equipment so it won't feel as bad getting tier three equipment but it still is going to be pretty bad unfortunately and when the player is summoning and acquire bonus cards for 10 summonings not sure what that means mileage has been removed and at 10 summons a maximum of two bonus cards will be summoned depending on the probability then etc change to select own hero for hero equip effects at summon shop so maybe that will let us see what the equipment does on them from that screen without us having to back out I'm assuming then tier 4 equipment and crafting rooms has crafting runes has also been added low upgrade stones added I don't really buy much from the wanting shop anyway so it is what it is but I mean tier 4 equipment could help it could help the price of awakening material is reduced and tier up material is reduced we can just farm those out unless you really really need it that day just farm that out honor shop rune summon chest is changed to five summon and the summon cost is reduced lovely lovely tier four set armor summon chest is added hey man i would i would love to pull some hydro without having to craft it if i have the honor for it hey i'm all for that mileage mileage shop changes all equipment and runes are removed except tier four treasures tier four to tier six equipment and rune summoning are added from the mileage shop as the tier 4 equipment runes have been changed in a way that can be crafted directly in a workshop, we have changed the product configuration so that unnecessary crystals and mileage are not consumed in the shop. We are also added honor shop items to make you use your honor points more useful. Again, I've only used my honor points just to pull gold. More reasons to use your honor, so more reasons to play the game and focus on PvP. And uh, the infinite fortress, nothing wrong with that. There's being more more levels added to blitz missions and domain defenses i'm accre uh, i'm assuming decrease attack of monsters appear in the 26 to 35 level of domain defense hey th if that makes it more doable hey i'm fine with that blitz three levels of difficulty are added all the recommended combat power for dracon and fallen gigas are reduced so hopefully these are actually doable now and not just like retardedly high for some reason. And the re recommended power level of Jungle, Urban, Oni, Kroga, and Brumor is lowered in six levels of difficulty or more. So they sounds like they got nerfed to the ground, man. So it sounds like there's no excuse why you can't do Blitz now. There's no excuse at all. And then the main defense, the Parrot Pirates. The numbers of monsters have been decreased the magic eye pearl clan won't be spawned i don't even think i can do the parrot pirates yet so nothing too crazy um traditional chinese and japanese have been added we have a new login theme that we can change or we'll change according to the language you set okay that's pretty cool so if i change can i just like change the audio i'm assuming and it changes the theme of it to reflect what it is okay and a whole bunch of just quality of life, I would say. Things got changed here. Nothing too important. No. Nothing too important. I mean, I'm sure we'll notice in the game, but nothing worth commenting about, especially since this video is already eight hours long. And then the heroes ba battle rebalancing. The balance of several heroes is changed and some battle formulas are modified. The second, the new second awakening skills have been added. So anyone at W2, which is awakening two, will now also have a passive skill for their awakening that is added to them. So getting your character to W2 again 
is just as important as W1 because now they have a passive skill that goes along with that. So phenomenal. I definitely like that. Uh, I'm interested to see what everyone has added. Maybe I'll do a video or two or maybe three because I don't want to be too long. Just seeing what passive skills are added to each character and giving you guys my quick opinion on that. But hey, that's okay. And then a compensation for updates. I think the Coliseum will reset. Infinite Fortress will, will reset as well. We will collect the rankings for existing raid support activity and we will send you a thank you gift by mail after server maintenance. As a result of the summon shop changes, the unused summon mileage will be deleted. Okay, I don't really have mileage, but to those out there who has it, you know, it looks like they're going to take care of that. But that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I apologize, it's 20 minutes long, but it looks like they're doing a ton of changes in this update. So rest in peace, your phone storage, because I would assume this one is going to be at least 700 megabytes, if not 900, if not a gig but uh, it looks like El Chronicle is definitely starting to pick up some traction the devs are listening they're making things easier for us and hopefully they address traits next and I'm interested to see how characters are balanced and hopefully one day the story will either be easier or more stuff's added so it's more accessible but with this update it should be a lot more accessible for other p players to actually build their characters and progress further into the story but that's pretty much it Definitely leave your comments below if you guys are excited for this just like I am and more videos are on the way and if you made it this long in this video, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh, peace out though. I gotta go. I have talked enough.